Hello everyone, this is Abdullah Sheikh from Code Prime. In this tutorial, we're going to learn CSS list property and we're going to explain that how we can be use this property and how we can actually use it and how much property is set. Inside of this property, we have around these four properties. We're going to explain that for number one, list style type, number two, list style position, and number three, list style images, and number four, list style color. So let's start this video right now. Here you can see on my computer screen I have added basic HTML file here. There you can see I have added a title here and there's a link tag that is I have connected a style.css file. And here I have added a title class name that is class name and go to the style file. And here I have added this basic HTML file and there's I have added some CSS for this title class. And now we're going to see this preview of this using this VS Code live server extension. So just click on to right click and open with the live server. And you can see on the view on this browser here you can see that we have added a title here so now i'm going to add this this class that's our property that is list property that is unordered list and ordered list so first of all let me tag a p tag so inside of this we will try this title of this the list here so here i'm going to make it okay so first of all type this unordered list so unordered list and then copy and paste it and here i'm going to make it order list okay order list and unordered list so this is the different of this order list and unordered list that is unordered list you can define any type of value up there and order list will be by default it will be the serial value there so one two three like the number serial value automatically here so first of all let me save this item and here you can see the view so now let me write some css for this p tag so copy this p tag here and write the css file and write css file and open this style file here so i'm copy and paste it so I'm just copy and paste it for the title section, this CSS here, title property. So now save this file. And you can see that we have successfully made this order list, unorder list and order list. So let me set the font size so that it can be visible goodly here. So 1.5. So now it's look good. Okay, now back to this HTML file. And here after this unorder list, we're going to unorder list that is evil is basically for depended on this unorder list. And here inside of this, I'm going to add some list item. So now enter it and now I'm going to make that is inside of this I'm going to type in hello. So let me type that hello. And now I'm going to copy and paste this list item for four time. And then we have saved this item. So you can see the viewpoint on this right side here. So now let me write for this order list. So order list is basically defended stand for OL and type that list item inside of this. And then here I'm going to write this hello again. And now copy and paste this list item for four time. Now save this changes. And you can see that this order list is by default here. This order list it was serial by it was decoded here one, two, three, four, like there. So this is the order list is different here. And this unordered list will be different. So a lot of things by default it will be a disk here. But you can change this value of this property here. So now let me set some sizes for this style file, list file here. So back to list file. So here this li item. So here I'm going to set this font size. So I need to increase the font size here. I'm going to make it to rem and save these changes. And you can see this font size is here. So we have set this. Now we can write for this is for this. So here we are going to writing for this ul li. So here this we have set this basic list item here. So now this is the main property that is we are going to set here. So there is the list style. We have this three property that is list style type list style image list images and list style position and list style list style is the shortened thing so now let me type for this list style okay so let us style type list style and type so this is list style type you can see there is so lot of properties available here you can see there is a lot of properties upper alpha and so most of things the calci intel and unset variable also you can use there but we are not going to variable this you can see the lawyer get it and this american circle and so a lot of things is style here so if you want to make upper alpha so save this and we will be see all text will be that upper alpha you can see that a b c it will be a capital letter so this is the list style type this is you can see here if you want to make it all the number so you can make it number and save this changes and you can see this all this list style will be number so then i'm going to show you this another property that is list style position so this is list style position here so position you can set this inside or outside you can save changes and you can see that we got some inside of this backspace 
and if we make it outside so will we see that it will be applied for this outside save this changes and you can see it will be this space will be take the outside and inside outside you can set like this way you can set this of this size of this side of this place style position you can see in this position of this place style and now i'm going to show you this another one is this style uh there's this list style there i'm going to apply this list style okay list style images so list style images so here after this property you can add images by the url so here i'm going to selection that is here i'm going to add a diamond icon that i have okay i think diamond diamond icon dot i can't write in here okay now save this changes and you can see the diamond icon that is images has been but you must be defended that this when you are writing this images side you should try to make this images is in small sizes but i think they are also will be available also will be fixed above so let me set the width if it work i don't know it will be work or not so let me set it with okay with this 20 pixel so let's save this sentence okay it was with is not working here by this property you can't apply this with i think but i don't know that here's some other things is available or not so background okay so let me set the background with it is not also working okay here we can apply another thing maybe this is images part file so we can't change here so this is a not available i think that sends images but if it available i will research about this and then i will inform it in the comment section on this i will write that property that how you can change this images if it available but i don't think that it's but directly you can apply here the color property but you can make it any type of color here so save this changes and the color will be changes here this all color of this your list item that the images and all of this changes so now let me comment it and let me comment the images and let me comment the inside is no problem there we can write it here and now i'm going to change this here this if you want to make it disk so it will be disk here you can see the disk here now if you want to make circle circle save this changes and you can see the circle on this here and if you want to make some there are some roman uh, upper roman lower roman you can make it uh, upper roman lower roman it will be doesn't matter you can select by your own uses and save this and you can see this the lower roman will be centered here so here you can seek out this more property here number list circle and rectangular oh sorry square a square is available you can see that the square has been changed on this here so now if you want to make more changes here so here i'm going to make some affectable but it is possible to very good way to do, do with this your inspection too so here i'm adding by default square and save this changes and let me increase the skin size and click on to this uh, list item and go to inspection mode and it will be the developer tool you can see so select that list item and here is remove this square property and then you just need to down key of your account of your keyboard and then auto circle decimal disk disclaimer close inner it this disclaimer closed and inner it initial none none will be it will be no list style that revert and square unset and much more property you can see that there is supported some lot of property you can try them is of this and which you will like them you can just use this property here if you want more videos about this project and if you still having any more inquiry about the list style property you can give me on the comment section below about this property and you will get this source codes of this tutorial into my website and i will give that link but i request you that before you copy that my code of this from my source code you must watch this tutorial so that you can understand that how much you can apply this and how it's actually works so i hope you enjoy enjoy this video if you enjoyed this video please like on it and share it with your friends and if you got any sound anything of this educational help for this css property so please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you can get more videos just like this thank you so much for watching this video